Welcome back, tribe, to another mobile gaming video. I'm your boy Scribble, and today we're looking at Age of Origins and how specifically to level up your commander as quickly as possible. We've got some good tips and tricks here, so make sure you settle down. Let's break it down. <laughs> Leveling up your commander obviously does give you access to additional skill sets and all the benefits that come with it. It is a natural part of the progression of the game, but there are certain ways that can help you progress just a little bit quicker. The first thing that I want to say is that you should be doing this regardless, but every single day, make sure that you try and get in and finish off all of your daily quests, okay? And um, they're, they're relatively easy to complete and you should be able to get them done within the first sort of 15, 20 minutes of just logging into the game and just doing your daily activities that you would normally do. But these chests along the way will grant you a certain amount of off, uh, commander XP as well as, you know, elite recruitment, fragment orders, that sort of thing, etc, etc. So it's not just about the commander XP, you do get a few extra things. This is nice, but it's not exactly a big difference maker as far as uh, as far as Commander XP is concerned. A couple of the other ways that we can go about getting some additional XP, of course, is with the recurring weekly events. So if we check out down here, Medici's Treasure, for example, that comes around once a week. It's starting in a day here, just over a day, in fact. Um, certain floors on there will have shops. Within those shops, you can use your gold to buy Commander XP. They're not guaranteed drops, but they are bigger packs than you could normally get elsewhere at the game, and they're usually relatively good value for your gold. Similarly speaking, stuff like Doom's Iron Grip over here, if we check out the rewards, you're able to get yourself some Commander XP. Obviously, the higher you place within the Doom's Iron Grip event, the better the rewards that you'll be. But even if you don't place very high, even if you're in the top 10,000 over here, we are still getting about 10k Commander XP. This is again run once a week. And that's better than doing your dailies, but it also gives you stored energy jars, which of course you can then use to help evolve your Titan further, giving you better, you know, attack power for your armies, etc, etc. Now, of course, the Doom's Iron Grip does it, but so does Mother of Doom. Also gives you the same sort of Commander XP alongside all the other good business that we're getting. We're still getting your stored energy jars, but you're also getting Empress DNA. The other one will, of course, give you the, uh, the, the other Titan, I can't remember his name now, as well as the Creature Modifier Fluid. So just logging in, getting those weekly events done, all that sort of business is always going to help you develop your character further. Not only that, but your alliance events as well. The elite zombies that you attack over here, the better the rewards, uh, sorry, the better you place within here, the better ranking rewards that you unlock. These also have a chance at dropping you chests, which can give you more commander XP alongside all of the other benefits. I know it's not showing up there, but it is a chance of dropping for that as well. And it's just good practice to be getting in there and getting them done regardless. Now, the number one way of earning XP, as far as I've seen anyway, has got to be just going out and attacking zombies on the Mac. This is, this is more of an active way of trying to earn Commander XP. It does give you a few other things over here. You can see you do get a resource chest. It gives you some random resources, Officer XP over here, as well as Commander XP. So as you're going out and attacking these zombies, you will, of course, get a few extra rewards. Let's actually just go and check back. What was my... What was the last one that I uh, that I did there? I've been attacking level 29 zombies. Generally speaking, I find it's better to try and attack the highest level zombie that you possibly can on the world map. They give you better rewards. We're getting biochemical material over here, which is able to, of course, be used into getting our, our uh, zombie units in the game. We're getting some random food crates. I mean, it's always nice to have some additional resources, and then it's stuff for us to break down and uh, meld as well. But not only that, you can see up here, I got 1,652 additional commander XP and if you've got yourself uh, if you get yourself auto kills which I know does cost a bit of money it's up to you whether or not you want to be spending that sort of thing um, you can do it more or less AFK as well you, you do need to have the app opened you do need to leave it open so either you have your phone open and making sure it doesn't shut down or if you've got uh, if you are playing through an emulator on a PC for example you will be able to continually do that it is of course going to be restricted by your fuel okay so fuel up here uh, or your mobility rather, is um, an indicator of how much you can travel out on the map. So the more you travel, this will, of course, be draining, especially based on the distance, the number of fleets that you're sending out, etc., etc. Within the auto kill feature, you can, of course, set to use additional um, fuel so that if you do run out, it will, you know, use one of those fuels and that'll recover. So there is, there is a finite number of... Um, times you can actually go out and kill zombies of course now you can find additional uses of fuel you can go over to the black market for example they often have 
fuel available here. Look, I mean, that's discounted quite heavily. Let's go ahead and buy that. We've also got some officer fragment chests over here. More fuel over here. I'll have to get some, uh, I'll have to get some cash there. Let's go ahead and get some cash. Fantastic. We'll buy some more fuel because we're going to be using that. Absolutely phenomenal. And sometimes in the exchange, we've got some, ah, here we are. You see, we can change, exchange research speed ups for additional fuel. In addition to fuel, you can further maximize it through officer skills. There's a couple of officer skills that are actually really useful in trying to either generate more mobility, give you faster attack speeds, or even earn additional XP from killing those monsters. So for example, the fuel up skill, this essentially speeds up the pace at which you recover mobility. So the more you recover mobility, the more often you'll be able to go out and actually attack zombies. Uh, there is also, let me have a look, Rapid Fleet over here. That increases your attack speed when you're going out to attack monsters. Now, that's a bit of a double-edged sword because, of course, the faster you go out and attack, obviously, the less you're waiting around in order to actually kill the zombies, but the faster you will actually use up your mobility. So, not necessarily a good thing. Good thing in certain scenarios, but not if you're just trying to uh, continually go out and farm zombies. Ah, over here. Sorry, I haven't actually been able to unlock this skill yet, but I did see it earlier today. Every 100 off uh, Officer Mastery actually increases the XP that you earn from monsters. So if you can get this comprehension skill set and start throwing it on a couple of your officers alongside, say, the fuel up... Um, fuel up skill set you will then be able to generate more mobility as well as earn more xp for each and every monster kill that you get done you can further optimize this with your commander skills in particular i find if we go over to the development path you've got the mobility recovery skill set over here so this obviously increases your mobility recovery speed but this one here is by 40 percent it's absolutely massive and then you've got the active ability that you can use to instantly get 50 mobility really really useful i believe there's another mobility recovery just down here this one over here i'm probably going to actually reset my skills to go and pick this up because it seems incredibly useful and then i'm probably Put the rest of it back into war so that i still have some offensive capabilities now obviously when you equip those skills to your officers it is going to scale based on the actual mastery of your officers so it's in your interest to try and place these on your stronger officers you can see if i take this character to level 16 we're going to increase our fleet speed over here which is not the important part but our mobility recovery is going to enhance just a little bit now don't forget skills themselves can be leveled up with skill books so you do want to think about trying to get additional skill books as well throw them into your fuel up throw them into your comprehension skills max them out as much as possible and then it's just a case of actively going out there and trying to make sure that you're constantly beating zombies like i said i like to try and go out there and hit the uh, most powerful or hardest hitting zombies in the game that i can actually comfortably take down if you've got the auto attack it does make it a little bit easier finally then vip is also one additional way of trying to increase your mobility recovery you can see when it's active down here i'm gaining an extra eight percent mobility recovery you do have to be careful though because it does also increase your monster attack speed which of course means you're going to be using that energy at a faster pace bit of a double-edged sword but there are pros and cons to this that's going to wrap it up for boosting your commander level as fast as possible let me know in the comment section down below what little tips and tricks have you found out about trying to level up as fast as possible and i will learn from you as well it's a mutual symbiotic relationship isn't that fabulous until the next video peace out and big love